Hey, Luis, how are you? Hey, Angela, how are you? Luis, can you hear me? Angela, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right. Okay. So, how are you, Angela? How was your day? Um, I, well, I don't know. <laughs> uh, today, today is... Which day is today? Today is Thursday the 12th. Thursday, okay. Well, I had a lot of things to do, so I would like to say that it has been a busy day. Yes. I needed to catch up with a lot of things, with a lot of classes. So, um, I'm sorry, Angela. Maybe I'm confused a little bit. What what classes, Angela? Uh, I'm uh, with my career, the classes for my career. For the chemical engineering, right? Or or. Yeah, from from the chemical engineering. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. I'm, how how is that possible online or because you, like you don't have laboratories like you don't you you don't go to practice so how is that possible in your career well it's <laughs> well thankfully I, the the subject that i'm carrying is like more theoric theory right theoric yeah no theoric mm. theoric theoric Mm -hmm. So, I don't have a lot of labs, I can say. I mean, I, from, from the five subjects I, I'm, I'm having, like, three are more theoric. So, I mean, it's, it's difficult because sometimes we need to do some experiments and we, we don't have the resources. Actually, we have like one laboratory, but we needed to do with the things that we have in our home. So I, I needed to do uh, like a distillation, mm -hmm. like a, yeah, a home distillation. So I, I use like bo a bottle, glue, and I, I don't remember the other things, but it's, it's not the same. It's not the same like the, the result. Mm -hmm. So this has been like kind of difficult. Okay. All right. I can imagine. I can imagine a little bit mm -hmm. hard. All right. Well, welcome everybody. I see uh, everybody's here. Wonderful. Um, the last day for the week of class. And I know uh, it's a little late in the evening, eight o'clock, but I'm glad everybody seems to be awake and ready. And uh, good, evening. Oh, good evening. Good evening. And we're almost good to go. All right. Um, today we're going to be looking at a topic that is very common, which is just giving an explanation. Um, it's called uh, stating reason and condition. And what really what it means is that just answering the main question of why, that's stating reason and condition. Like, why do you do something, or why does that happen, or you know, why, why, why is the the main question, or what's the purpose? That's kind of the idea of what we're going to be looking at today. So, as an example, um, I can ask, uh, uh, I can ask Eric, Eric, why are you studying English? Okay. And normally, when I ask a question, sorry, Eric, not, not, not mm -hmm. that I, before you give me your answer. Okay. 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 Uh, normally, when the people answer it, we almost always begin with because, and this is the common. 
this is the common way. If I ask you, uh, Maria, why did you uh, have lunch early today? Or why did you take care of your, uh, your grandchildren? Oh, normally, the, without thinking about it, the first thing that comes to our mind is because, mm -hmm. right? And because is fine, because is correct to use because it gives and answers a question why. But today we're going to be learning other words that can be used instead of because. Other words that give different types of explanation, okay? Other words that help us give reason for these situations, All right? So as an example, Eric, why are you studying English? It's my point to learn a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, there you go. I want to learn some a little bit more. And everybody has a reason why they do something, right? Hello. We, we have, why do we wake up early? Or, you know, why do you stay up late? Because I'm not rich. <laughs> okay. Yet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So today, hang on, let me share my screen with you. So we're all looking at the same thing. Um, if you're on your computer, this is 4.6. This is 4.6 clauses stating reasons and conditions. Okay. okay. So as you can see here, we're looking at the words. The main words that we have are even if, as long as, or unless. Okay. So, you know, this is another, another way to express why we do something or what is the condition for it. I'm going to share my video with you. It's not long, so it'll be easy for us to look at the video and then discuss it right afterwards. Even if, as long as, unless, are examples of clauses stating reasons and condition. Stay with us for the explanation. Clauses stating reasons and conditions. I will group them for you in the following ways. Considering that introduces another clause of reason, as long as, even if, unless, and only if introduce another clause of condition, just in case, or in case, also introduces another clause of condition. It is used when an undesirable circumstance or condition needs to be taken into account, but the condition is considered very unlikely to happen. Now let's go over the following chart. Clauses stating reasons and conditions. Even if introduces a condition that does not influence the main clause, I sometimes lie awake at night even if I'm really tired. Considering that introduces causes and reasons that explain the main clause. I'm lucky I can get by on six hours of sleep, considering that most people need eight. As long as introduces a condition on which the main clause depends. I can manage on five hours of sleep, as long as I take a nap during the day. Unless introduces something that must happen in order to avoid a consequence. Unless I get a good night's sleep, I can easily fall asleep at school, at work, or even while driving. Just in case or in case introduces an undesirable circumstance that needs to be taken into account. I always set two alarm clocks just in case one of them doesn't go off. Or I always set two alarm clocks in case one of them doesn't go off. Only if introduces a condition that must be met for the main clause to be true. I only wake up early if I have somewhere to be in the morning. Complete the following sentences with information about yourself, then share them in class. Okay. So, as we can see, we're, we're looking and we're learning several different uh, clauses that we can use to express reason, to give explanations. The most important one that we have uh, hang on. okay the most important one that we have is here 
Let me show you. As long this part. Why is this one the most important? It's the most important because it gives us an explanation of what is the function of each of those things. So we can see that we're using all of these, even if, considering that, as long as, unless, uh, in case, or just in case, and only if. All of these are for giving a reason why you do something. Okay, so Okay, some of them are not just the the reason of this is the cause, but also what is the condition or what happens because of it. Okay, take a moment, read the sentences. See if you have any questions. See if there are any of those clauses that are not clear or you don't understand what is the meaning. Teacher, did you ask something? Yes, I, I, maybe nobody heard me. Maybe I'm on mute. Can you hear me, Angela? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, all right. So the question is, are there any of these clauses that are not clear? Are there any of them that you don't understand? What is the function? Well, um, in my opinion, I don't have any question. Okay. Thank you, Angela. Anybody else? Anybody that has a question for one or more of these clauses? Oh, no, teacher is clear as the day. Okay. I have one question on the fifth point. Okay. About Yoast. Um, it says, in case introduce an undesirable circumstance that needs to be taken into account, so the example is, I always set two alarm clock in case uh, one of them doesn't go off. So in which time of this sentence you can put the just? Obviously here is it written, but it's, it's written, but I don't know. Mm, I don't have it like 100% clearly. No problem, Oscar. Um, the, the just is only used as an emphasis. It is not an obligation. It has the same meaning as in case. Just in case is only a stronger emphasis. Uh, okay. So, but the function is the same, okay? Uh, okay? Remember, we talked about that these clauses are giving us the explanation. So I always set an alarm clock. Why? Why, Oscar? Oh, in case one of them doesn't go off. Okay. That's how, that's the idea. So instead of having someone ask you, why do you do that? Or what happens if you don't? Or, you know, asking for a, an explanation for the, or a reason for why you're doing the action, all of these clauses answer the question before the, it's asked. Cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Remember that in English, the most common questions that we have are why or how, or these types of questions that ask for, how did you do that? Um, or why did you do that? Okay. So what we do is we use these words to answer those questions. Okay. So I, I can say, um, I think it was with Angela. I think Angela, if I'm not, mistaken we were talking about maybe becoming a, um, a pilot a, a female. Yeah. yeah that was with you right Angela yeah exactly okay <laughs> all right so okay so I say Angela um, you know I maybe I want to be she says I want to become a female pilot Wow um, how are you going to pay for it oh well instead of me asking how Angela can put it in her sentence. Um, I'm going to become a female pilot as long as I get a scholarship. Okay, so th these are these are the functions. So it's necessary to be clear the the reason for each one because in this case it's not I'm going to become a pilot just in case or in case 
No, in this case, this would be a different, okay? I'm studying English in case I need it for my, for my future, okay? So that's, that would be the usage of a case, not a, as long as or for another one. So each of these gives an explanation or answers, but it has a different way to answer it. Okay? And that's why it's important. That's why I say probably that last image that I showed you is the most important because it tells you specifically what is the function of each one. Okay. So like in the first sentence, I sometimes lie awake at night, even if I'm really tired. Okay. It doesn't answer why you lie awake. It just is an explanation of what happens, even if you're tired. Okay. So, for example, for me, um, I, I, um, I, I normally don't have dinner, even if I'm really hungry after class, because I finish at 10 o'clock. So, for me, it's, it's too late. Okay. Kind of something like that, okay? But that, why do we use that even if, okay? Even if doesn't affect, doesn't change the first condition, the first part of I don't have dinner. It's only adding an emphasis or even more, okay? I save money, even if it's $1 a week. So it, I don't stop saving money. I always save money. It doesn't doesn't affect the first part of the sentence. It only explains what are the unusual circumstances that maybe is not as much as I want. Okay, Royer. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we have that in the chat, the, the clauses, mm -hmm. and in case you need it, in case you're on the computer, it's 4.6, one more time, 4.6 is right in the middle, right in the middle of the video at one minute and 20 seconds. And you and your partners are going to create statements using each of those. So you are going to create one statement with even if, one statement with considering that, one statement with as long as, one with unless, one with in case, and one with only if, okay? Four point what, teacher, sorry? 4.6. Okay, I got it. 4.6, one minute and 20 seconds, and you will find that chart. Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So, we're going to make our groups. We're going to try. Remember, don't don't worry if it's wrong the first time. The, okay. The important, sorry, sorry. No problem, Eric. No problem. Okay. The important is that we're trying to practice with our partners. We're trying to get using them. So, at first, maybe you need to go slowly. Okay, so here's the part that uh, sometimes I'm not able to be in every group and I need you to focus. So if you speak slowly, as an example, if I say, I'm gonna use the first sentence, like I sometimes um, wake up early, even, even if it's on Sunday, okay? My sentence is correct, but my fluency is not. So after I have my idea, I need to go back if my fluency wasn't good and I need to make my sentence correct without stopping and without slowing, okay? How, so after I say my sentence, my partner is going to listen and say, okay, I understand. My partner can tell me, mm, you paused, like at sometimes you paused like at night or or you know, you know, because you are thinking, I sometimes, and you know that in that moment, you need to go back. When you go back again, you say the same ten sentence, but fluently, okay? I sometimes wake up early, even if it's Sunday. Okay, so we have two functions. The first function is using it correctly, and the second function is using it fluently. Okay, so we cannot do the second the second function if in the first function we are not clear what our sentence is. So first we have to be clear, we have to have our ideas so that in when we repeat we can say it smoothly. Uh, okay. Sure. We'll try. 
Yeah, that's all we can do, right? Here. Oh, I, somebody has a baby. My daughter needs to sleep. She wants to sleep. <laughs> who's a, wait, who's in my daughter? I didn't see who's. Carolina. Me. Carol. Hey, Carol. How old is your daughter? She's two years old. She's right here. Oh, yeah, we can see her. That's <laughs> great. I'm, I'm trying to make her sleep, but she's like, ah, I need to. <laughs> okay. We are fighting. We are fighting. A April. 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 That's, yeah, cool. that's her name. Well, I congratulate you, Carolina. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. I mean, it, <laughs> It, life is hard and you know family having yeah. a family is hard so if you have to have her with us in english class you you put her there don't worry don't worry <laughs> all of us have had i think well not all of us but many of us have had children and we understand children <laughs> they're children they go to sleep when they go to sleep and you know they cry when they <laughs> cry so don't worry about it okay she likes to listen to you i don't know why she's always waiting for the class <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. Maybe because she's bilingual already. Probably. Yeah, little by little. Yeah, she speaks a little bit English. That's but cool. just oh, a little. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, it's, nice. it's on YouTube to to teach her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It will it will be easier for her when she grows. Yeah. that's my goal. I yeah. think I will get it. <laughs> yeah. Nice. All right, all right, guys. Let's make our groups. Just, I would like to say, uh, yeah, Angela, Edwin, that I'm on the website and I don't know, but I can see the video. I have a problem with it. With four point six. Yeah. Hmm. And I, I know there that there's there's a video, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Maybe change browsers, Angela. What browser are you using? Are you using Firefox, Mozilla, Google? Google Chrome. Google Chrome. Yeah, it should because it's it's designed to work specifically with 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 this. So um, try refreshing it. Maybe that'll help. But I did it. You did. It, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay. Mm -hmm. So no refreshing. Let me think. Um, Try logging, uh, try, well, no, I was going to say, try using a different browser. Sometimes you have to erase the cookies. I will try. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Oscar, any questions? All right. Oscar, did you get, your, your partner's, Eric, is waiting for you. Oh, I was mute. Sorry, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking and just. I spent fifty dollar in the supermarket as long as I don't spend more than that amount. For example. Thank you, Claudia. Okay. Um, sorry, Claudia, that, you're going to have to try that one again. The, grammatically, your sentence is correct, but it, but it doesn't make much uh, sense. So, for example, uh, I spend $50 in a supermarket as long as I have the money or as long as I pay in cash, for example. Okay. Sir, sorry, teacher, what was the meaning of as long as? Because I, I get confused. Okay, so uh, it's that it's dependent. It's like um, a cause and effect. It depends on. So, Gladys, imagine you are my girlfriend, okay, mm -hmm. and we go on dates, okay. When can we go on dates? We can only go on dates as long as we have money. So, we are dependent on the money to go on the dates. This is as long as. A long as is means that you are the first sentence depends on the second sentence. So, for example, for you and your job, because I know what you do, you can make bracelets as long as you have the designs. 
you are dependent on the designs to make the bracelets. Okay, okay, I got it now. Okay, all right. Claudia, did you get it? Yes, yes all right. I get it. Okay, give me one more example, Claudia. Let's make sure. Uh, an example. Uh, it can be the same sentence, only I want to make sure that you have the clause correct. Uh, I, I drive a car as long as I have a car. Okay. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. Yeah. You you are dependent on having the car in order to drive it. That's right. Okay. Good. Hey, um, before I go to another group, any questions about any of the other statements? No, teacher. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. I'll let you practice. I think that he, he was going to send the information right there, right? Yeah, by WhatsApp. Yeah, but on the on the on the group chat. Yeah, it's in the group chat. Yeah. Um, yes, it, it is there. Yeah, let me see. And here. I and I. Oh. Did you see it? Yeah, it's on um, the last image. All oh, right. So yes. So four images before. That's the examples where it says clauses stating reason okay. and conditions. That's going to give you the examples and all of the ones that you have to use. That even, even, even if, considering mm -hmm. that, as long as, yeah, we were talking about even if. Yeah. So, okay, if, yes. so, so it's clear, even if is, it, it doesn't change the first sentence. It doesn't change the first uh, action. As an example, my grandmother, my grandmother goes to church every Sunday, goes to church. Even, every, even if it's raining. Exactly, Oscar. Exactly. Okay. This doesn't affect the first action. That's what it, that's what it means. Well, even if, I'm sorry, vendría siendo pase lo que pase. ¿verdad? <laughs> practically, practically. That, yeah, yeah. That's right. More or less. Uh -huh. okay. only, that, only that even if, the, the difference is that even if is we explain what and and in Spanish pase lo que pase we stop <laughs> we don't have yeah. to explain <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah you're correct all right so, good so another example uh, Mr. Cubillas always teach English class every night even if everybody is online even if yeah, even if no one is online. Oh, no one, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Even if nobody is connected. That's right, okay. that's right. You are connected, you are not connected. I teach the English class, exactly. Okay. okay. All right, good, good. When you have to travel to the United States, you uh, obviously you are going to be there with all your family. Yeah, we're, we're traveling. It is going to, with me, uh, my wife, my my parents in love in law, unless because I think it's got to do with the right pronunciation or something like that. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I I know that is the correct way. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take your advice. I'm going to to watch movies that I really enjoy uh, yes. in English and with subtitles in English too. Yeah, for example, me here in the house, I have a cable and I uh -huh. also have my internet. Uh, mm -hmm. I When I go back in my, inside my room, I watch uh, movies in English and I, when I check my phone, my phone uh, set up, is set up in English. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And uh, yes, okay. I will, you know, we didn't practice as long as. Okay, so are you going to repeat the, the sentences you constructed? Oh, yes. Okay. I go to bed early unless I drink coffee at dinner. 
I won't go jogging even if you go with me. I could lunch even if you aren't here. I read a lot last night considering that was really late. I'm still here, don't worry. Your partner, something happened with him. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I just wrote four. <laughs> yes, yes I, I, um, I didn't hear uh, in case. In case. Ah, we were practicing that. Ah, okay. I was. Yes. I, I, okay. Okay. So. Okay. Good. But Sandra, he's not here. Yeah, I don't know what happened to him, Sandra. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. He he got maybe the you know he ran out of data or the internet or the electricity or something. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. That did happen. Yeah. So Sandra, um, I like your I, I like your picture. It's it's is this in your house? Yes. The profile picture? Yes. I took it like two weeks ago. Oh, it looks very nice. I'm oh, thank you. I'm looking at your hair and your hair seems fairly short. Is it short or is it just pulled back? Is I'm just using a, a bun. I don't oh. know he, if it is correct to say bun. Monio. <laughs> Uh, um, Monia, yeah, I guess so. We could use it um, because you can normally use like a ponytail or I'm using um, a scrunch, I think is the, the word that they use it for, el moño. Scrunchy, I think is the, the correct word. Scrunchy, I think is. Okay. Hang on. Yeah. I'm going to put it in there because I don't, it's very unusual that I use that word, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I do have a wife and I know that sometimes. This is very common to use. Oops, oh. sorry. I put that for, for every, ah, yes, scrunchy. Mm -hmm. Yes, scrunchy. Okay. Yeah. So when you're, when you're shopping online or you need something, you look for scrunchy. <laughs> oh, yes. I use it every day. Okay. I don't know why, but I feel like it is not, not that uncomfortable, like using the, the hair just. Free. <laughs> okay. And mm -hmm. do you know what are dimples? Yes. Is yes. my is my imagination or you have dimples, Sandra? I have dimples. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm looking yes. in the I'm looking at the picture like, hmm, I think I think yes, you have dimples. Yes, I have. Okay. That's why I don't know the name of uh, of my peer that told that I look like kind of cheeky, but I'm not that cheeky. It's because my dimples. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Well, I see your partner is not coming back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send you to another group. Um, okay. Because we waited a few moments and it looks like he's having difficulties. Yes. Okay. It is All okay right. if you put me in another group. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Uh, just in case. Just in case or what is that what is the phrase okay? That's right. In case or just in case? Just is ah, okay. In case or just in case? Ah, right. Okay. Just is only used as an emphasis. That's the only function. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's good. Okay. I always set it to alarm clocks just in case. Uh huh. Okay. I, 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 I get up early. Uh, just in case uh, I have to to work to work in in the the next day. Okay. More or less, it the sentence is grammatically correct, but it mm -hmm. doesn't it doesn't make sense because you know if you have to work or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe I wake up early just in case there is traffic. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you see what I mean? Okay. Because th your sentence was correct, but mm, mm -hmm. not so much for the sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. 
Another example. Uh, right. Because I don't know if you, if your, your son is not healthy at all, or or yourself, and you need an special protection. Uh -huh, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, in, in our case, uh, because of my age, and because um, my son who is married, he has a, a little boy, mm -hmm. seven months old. So oh. I go to her to their home. I have about three months of being <laughs> yes but I don't know I don't know what to do um about that because I'm really nervous I don't know now they will ask you about personal information and then they will ask you to connect through a meeting like in meet google meet that's the one that they use and after you will have to answer some questions but it is most about personal information they want to listen to you your fluency and the vocabulary you get and all that and your grammar so yeah. i think you will do it yes and then they I change so. <laughs> they change to spanish because if they think you can do it they start offering a schedule or the money thing like your payments and all the things that you will need, papers, legal papers. Mm -hmm. So the, the English interview is just to listen to you, but then you will have a training. I, I think you will have the training. Yes, and so. also they have English school. If they think you need a little bit of help or you need support, they will send you to the, to the school that they have. And they will show you, or I'm sorry, they will teach you text, uh, text support vocabulary, the one that you will use. It is going to be good. I think you don't okay. have to be nervous. <laughs> where Thank where you. are you applying, Lupita? I'm applying a teleperformance. Okay. Do yes, you know? I applied today. Do you know the account? Uh, yes, I, uh, tech support at AT and T. Tech support at AT and T. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, so Caro was uh, giving me a. Hi. Caro gave me some talk. tips, <laughs> some tips <laughs> to handle that situation, because because I, I was saying to her that that I'm a little nervous. Nervous. Of, yeah. Of of course. Um, w your interview is tomorrow, right? Uh, no, I don't know. Uh. They I, called ap you I apply. I apply today. Okay, so they'll probably call you in uh, two days. They usually have uh, forty-eight hours. Most of the time, they try to do it in twenty-four, but, mm -hmm. but sometimes they have a lot of people that apply and they'll do it in forty-eight. Um, Caro is correct. The first one is they're going to call. They ask you in Spanish, "Hello, Lupita." Um, Lupita, the way that you have your headset right now, be prepared to answer your phone with that because it's easier to listen. So make sure you have your earphones or earplugs when you answer the phone. Be prepared mm, for that okay. because it, or, it, or have them nearby. So that way when you answer the phone and they say, oh, can you have an interview? And you say, sure, just give me, or, uh, just give me a few seconds to put in my uh, headphones. That way it's easy to make sure that they listen to you clearly and that you listen to them clearly. That's the first tip I can give you because many times for the connection or the call, or, or the you know environment noise you lose uh, what the, what they're trying to ask you especially when you're nervous mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so okay. that's the first one the other is um, as a recommendation just think about common answers to questions that are basic you know where are you from tell me about yourself and uh, you know uh, how did you learn English where have you been studying basic questions just think about like if you were meeting someone what would you like to know about them and that's kind of like the first ones, like Carolina says. And then after you have a few minutes in English, then they'll go back to Spanish and exactly like everything that Carol said. They'll say, okay, would, you know, are you looking for full-time? Are you looking for part-time? Um, mm -hmm. Do you have any experience in tech support? Or, you know, uh, maybe I, they need to contact uh, another manager, uh, the floor manager or the department manager and ask you some questions about so-and-so program or things like that. So. That's a different, that's a little bit different, but that's for the technical part. 
Okay, thank you so much, teacher. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Good good luck. Don't worry. Don't be nervous. It's just a it's it's normal. It's normal to have it. Okay. So yes. Actually, I was trying to apply uh, to a call center like uh, I don't know uh, as always always, but then I I study German and then Korean, so the opportunity it was it was. It wasn't available for me um, until until this year. So I hope I don't know. I hope doing well. I you know, I mean um, I, sometimes um, I get some I get some nervous, but I think I I can handle it. I hope so. Yeah, of course, of course. Just be calm and relax. And the way to not be nervous is be prepared. Be prepared for with your answers, and yes. you know, and that makes it easier. Okay, thanks. You can do role yeah. plays, like yeah. listening. Also, the in internet there are a lot of common questions. You can search. Mm -hmm. In the okay. in, in the future, Lupita, um, yes. because you seem kind of young. In the future, never apply for the company um, that you want to work for first always apply for a company you don't want to work for first. This is because that way you go through the process, you eliminate the fears, you have a concept of what are the questions, you have a concept of the process, because they're almost all the call centers have the same process, only different accounts, okay? So yes. then in the future, if, if you don't work at this company and you want to apply at another one, apply for a company you don't want to work for because all you want is the practice of going through an interview, the practice of doing the exercises, the practice of applying. That's the thing, okay? Yes. And, then, and then that way, when you receive the call for the company that you want to work for, you feel more comfortable because you already know everything that they're going to ask you. You already have an idea of what, what is the process. Ah, I get it. Okay. I, did, I didn't understand you, but now I get it, yes. All right. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. No. Roxana. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Roxana. <laughs> How are you? Great. <laughs> great, great to see you. Okay. Great to see you too. Good. Um, did you hear the explanation at the beginning, Roxana? Of the no. Okay. No, I enter a little late. Okay. Class. Sorry. No, no. <laughs> I was in a reunion. <laughs> okay. Okay, no problem. So just making sure. Um, we're looking at, a, it's in the WhatsApp, just in case, um, but it's really just using the different terms of how to explain situations or how to give notice of something. So if you look in your WhatsApp, you can see it's 4.6 in the platform. Um, in case you're on the computer, 4.6, and it's the, the, um, the slide that you need, it's at one minute and 20 seconds, half of the video, one minute and 20 seconds. And it's the same picture that's in the WhatsApp. It's just about uh, clauses. And this is how to give explanation. So you don't only answer with because, because, because. You can answer with different questions, different ways, like as long as, or even if, or unless, or just in case, things like this. That was the function of today's class, of how to give reasons without using because. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. I, I, I did some examples with the, in the small group. Mm -hmm. uh, we did some examples using the, the what is the name? Clauses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Clauses for reasons and conditions. Okay. Are there any that you're not sure about? Are there any that you want me to check? Oh, let me see. Uh, this one, uh, using... Um, 
just in case. Uh, the example is like that. Um, I did the work of the platform just in case I don't come to class. Is that, correct. That is <laughs> that is correct. I hope it's not true, but it is correct. <laughs> no, no, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> but it is correct. It's correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Are you sure that that's you? <laughs> <laughs> it's All not right. your clone. It's her clone. <laughs> yeah, it's my clone. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody? My sci-fi movies, uh, right? <laughs> too many. Too many. Uh, anybody else have any questions or any examples that they would like me to check to make sure that they're doing it correctly? Good. I, I did one teacher. Okay. I don't know if I'm correct. Uh, I always have a cookie in my purse just in case I can't eat or I can't have lunch. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Your prevent. Yes, always. <laughs> yeah. And now more because I have a daughter, I have candies, cookies, uh, yeah. sandwich, juice. If some if you find me, you know that if you're hungry, I, I will give you something to eat. <laughs> if, I, if I see you on the bus, Good. the first, hey, Carol, do you have a cookie? Carol, do you have candy? <laughs> yes, and it will be, yes, sir. Which <laughs> one do you have? <laughs> there you go. You're like a mobile grocery store. There you <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Yes, it is correct. Very good. Very good. Sure. I yes. make one in the little group. Uh -huh. Also, also talking about food, using considering that, but I'm not uh, really sure that it's uh, uh, good because the, the sentence that I imagine says, I am eating a big salad, considering that I'm on diet. Oh. Is that okay? But because of you're talking about a lot, of, a big salad, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but is it's that okay? fine. That is okay. That is okay. Mm. okay. Okay. Yes, I'm eating a big salad. Considering that I'm on a diet. Because mm -hmm. we were laughing at, but <laughs> yeah, because it's a big one. Yeah, that that was a, the, Then I started thinking we're talking about something big, and if, and if you're making but you're diet, supposed to be on a diet, okay? Makes sense. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. But it's okay. It is okay. It's you just have to think about it like go green. That even okay. the, the sentence is okay. What is not okay is your point of view of the diet. Yeah, you're <laughs> you correct. Have, right? You, you have a different diet than the rest, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> your perspective is the one that is not good. <laughs> like the rabbit. Yeah. Okay. Now, the next part is, well, first, sorry, uh, was there anybody else? Um, any other, anybody else would like me to check or make sure um, they understood everything correctly? Teacher, actually I have a question, but it's not related to the topic. It's about the platform, the final exam actually. Okay. I think if, I, I just forgot what was the, what was the mistake on the, on the exercise, exercise, let me check, exercise two. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, I was in my, in the, in the course four, but I got to go to the, Final exam, right? Yeah. Uh, let me check. In combined sentences. <laughs> combined sentences was. Um, I don't remember right now, but maybe Maria does because it, I think if this was her question. Maria, do you remember? Yeah. What What was the? It was, was related the, to yeah. to Bulgari. Let me find it. Uh -huh. I'm, which I'm Which one? Um, it's I think it, it was be part B, of, B, B right? Part one, part one, number one. So in, in the exam, um, in the final exam, part B, section one, number one. Number one, yeah, sure. Okay. Section one, number one. Bulgaria, which is a small country. Oh, oh okay, okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> Let me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's cheap to travel by, in by bus. Uh -huh. See, the, the What's the mistake was, there? Uh -huh. Nothing. It's just you 
you, you type again, Bulgaria is a small country, forget that period. And then the you comma, said me. only, uh, no, the, it, it has a period after Bulgaria. And then you said Bulgaria is a small country that is cheap to travel in by bus. Okay. So you, you take out uh, Bulgaria is. Bulgaria, yeah. which is a small country. Bulgaria, I have. Uh -huh. uh, Bulgaria is a, is a small country okay. that is cheap to travel in by bus. So you, you remove the next Bulgaria. Okay, that's nice. But, the uh, period. but Maria, it has a, a comma or no? I remember. No. No, 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 no. It, okay. It, it has a, a period, but you remove that. You, you don't uh, need that. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So it'll be Bulgaria. The answer has a comma or not? Oh. No, just that. Without Bulgaria comma. Is a small country. Without comma, without period. You only substitute Bulgaria for that. For that. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out. No, it's still wrong. But you remove the period and don't forget. Yeah, the Bulgaria the is a small it's a small country. Without comma, right? Uh-huh, without comma. Mm -hmm. That is cheap. That is to cheap. Travel in by bus. Okay, let me check it out. No, no. Okay, it's done. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that that'll be all. The teacher said. The teacher said that you copy the whole thing and then you delete what yeah. you don't need. And yeah, I, I did it actually. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot, okay. Maria. Sorry, teacher, Sorry. to interrupt the class. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. That exercise is for the what? Final for exam. The final exam. We are. Re we have to do the final exam this week. No, not this weekend, but you have to do it uh, by Wednesday. But some people already in the class already finished the final exam. So we will ask them a lot <laughs> because yes. I'm still I'm still finishing the the form. I haven't. The I thing didn't. is, I can't start exam and not finishing it. So I started it yesterday, and I didn't go to bed until so, I finished it. So prepare yeah. your night for my. Questions. <laughs> yes, I, I, I think here we have two people that already finished the final exam. Um, three. Three. Thank, yes. Sorry, sorry, Sandra. Sorry. <laughs> three people. Three people that finished the final exam. So, uh huh. Hey, oh, you too, Oscar. Four. What? No, I'm, I'm the total of the group. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave me out. I also, I also behind. I. I think, I'm like on the second exercise on uh, section four. Okay. Okay, but section four is good. Section four is good. So yeah. the idea is not to fall too far behind. Remember, today is Thursday, the last day of the week. Um, next week, we begin sec the, you know, that, that's it. This is, this is the last part, section four. So it's okay. But the important is that the platform is being worked because if you allow the platform to accumulate, especially during the weekdays. I, I think you have more time on the weekend to catch up yes, or to do. Mm -hmm. but, but if you don't catch up this weekend, there is no other weekend. Next week, we finish. So mm -hmm. if, you are, if you are a little bit behind, this is the perfect weekend. And remember, we, we are, finish the next week. Yes, on, on 20, Thursday. Right? No, until uh, 28th. No, it's oh. the 20th. The 20th. Yeah, yeah okay. four, four weeks already. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. It's like so, flash. I'm going to work this weekend. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but don't worry, because if you have a question, we have people only write in the chat and somebody finished or me or someone else, we can all help each other. And like you said, some people are in four point something, some people are in three point something, but even if we are in four, we can help the people in three. If we finish the exam, we can help the people in four. So we can all help each other. It's not a problem. Especially, especially the most important for, for like what Maria and Eric just did, that there are some that I don't remember exactly, but that have a specific mistake and we need to, to address this or eliminate mm -hmm. the period or something like this. Mm -hmm. Coach, yeah, uh, do you remember the... the Section four, three, 
one, I think, and three, two, no, something like that. But it's it's about uh, Bangkok with uh, without a space. Uh, I'm having issues with those. I, I think uh, I don't know if okay. It, I think uh, the the Bangkok it has uh, without no space and then complete the sentence. And I think there is another comma, and at the end, I don't know if it has a period, but I'm I'm stuck on on on, the, on that exercise. Okay, Jose. First, what uh, what lesson and what lesson is it? I think it's I think it's four. Uh, I don't know. It's exercise three. Four point what? Uh, four three point one. one I think four, it's point. Well, four, four. I don't know, man. I I just four, four, and you in the platform right now? No, no, I, I'm not in there uh, right now. But, okay, uh, okay. That's so a do, problem. Do, do, 3.2. It's 3.2. 3.2, right? Okay. Yeah, 3.2 and 3.1. 3, 3.2 or 2.2? 2. 3, thank you. Thank I you. think it's 3.1. Something like that. All right, let me let me check right now. Let's yes, see. Yes, about Bangkok? Uh, knowledge yes. check. Yes. Hmm. Let's take a look. Uh, Okay, the knowledge check is 3.2. All right, let's take a look. Let's see if we can get oh. Um, Jose, can you see my screen? Yes. Is this the first one, the one that we did? Yeah, that's, that's the one. Yeah, this is the one we did in class. This was the... Um, Without period. I think that's, that's it. I think that's what it was the mistake, right? There was a mistake yeah. for the period. Let's check. Yeah. Yeah. Without yeah, period. Yeah. And Without period. It. That's it. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's so Bangkok is without a oh no it's without period at, at the end. Yeah, the rest the of the, the the rest is the correct way the correct way for the grammar which is comma before and comma after the clause and then okay. no period at the end. Oh, okay, perfect. You're also gonna have problems with number four Bogota. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Remember number four Jose. Remember number four with Bogota okay. there is no space. There is no space Between. after. Between Bogota After the comma. and which? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bogota, between comma, Bogota, which, without comma, space. Which, without okay. space, between mm -hmm. the comma and which. Yeah, yeah, that was the other one. That's right. That, those were the two with the with the mm -hmm. technical mistakes. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I got it. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a great weekend. And, if, you know, if you have any questions or anything, um, you put them in the chat. Somebody will get to them. I mean, we have all weekend. So, you know, sooner or later, somebody's going to answer them. And yes. most of the times, it, we already, people have already found the mistakes. So it's easier for you. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, guys. I hope you have a great Thanks weekend. A lot, good okay, good night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Angela, do you have a question? I saw you. Yeah. What's the? Uh -huh, Angela. It was uh, from the exam. Uh, point four four combined sentences exercise three. Okay. All right. I have another class right now, but mm -hmm. do, me, do me a favor and send me what what you need in the chat. And as soon as my class finishes at ten, I'll see if I can get to it. Okay. Or maybe somebody else, if, if somebody already has answered, it, maybe somebody else can help you. Okay. Okay, perfect. All right, thanks, Angela. Thank you. All right, good night, guys. Have a great night. Good night. Bye bye. Hmm.